What's up everyone, this is Lot Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a really bad problem with the latest version of Siri Shortcuts. And this actually technically was an issue back with the older version, but it's something that's very important that I really think you guys need to be aware of, and I know that it could have affected me in a negative way. So, let's get started. When I got iOS 13, I started messing around with the Shortcuts app, and I made really cool shortcuts to open up apps and things like that. And eventually, the second thing I did all excited and everything after downloading the beta was I went on third-party websites and started installing compatible shortcuts left and right. And there was one shortcut that stuck out to me and it reminded me of a shortcut I saw a little less than a year ago. And it turns out shortcuts actually has the ability to do everything that you see. So it can actually take your IP address on top of that, it can send it to an individual. It could send it to like a Google Docs that only the individual of the shortcut that made it can have access to. It can grab certain content from your iPhone so it can find out what continent, country, region, city, latitude, longitude, and postal code, and your address for your DNS. So this is kind of a lot of information that can actually be out there. You could technically send this specific shortcut to someone and if they click on that, and if you have the right information in here, you can steal all their internet information as far as where they are, their IP address, and things like that. So that just reminded me to just really be careful what I install in the shortcuts application. Now, thankfully in iOS 13, when you go to install a shortcut from a third party source, you will get a screen like this and typically you were actually allowed to instantly install it by tapping on install, but now it makes you scroll through the shortcut so you can see what it does, and then you can add the untrusted shortcut. But I knew for a fact that as soon as I installed iOS 13, I installed a bunch of shortcuts, and the first thing I did was I didn't even read any of it, and I scrolled down and just clicked boom. So I know I'm not the only person who will do this, but I really recommend you go and double check everything that the shortcut is doing. I'm not saying everyone out there has bad intent, but it's possible that someone could, and I really think you guys should be aware of that. So that's about it for today. More videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. As always, peace.